I can't think of a better way to begin our session than by celebrating the legacy and the contributions of Ronald Reagan. I think that he epitomizes what common sense conservatism is all about. And I think that this is the greatest way I know of to set the tone for this legislative session. We are truly on the path of, for greatness in the state of Oklahoma and we're excited about the initiatives that we're going to be pursuing this year. I will tell you that my favorite quote by Ronald Reagan is this, no government ever voluntarily reduces itself in size. Government programs once launched never disappear. Actually a government bureau is the closest thing to eternal life on the planet earth. Now I want to tell you, I use that quote a lot because as we begin this session, one of the main initiatives that we're going to uh, uh, in, in, in endeavor to, to correct is cleaning up our state's tax code. And over the course of time, the legislature has implemented a various uh, uh, sundry of tax credits, many of which were set to expire at a date certain. Well, guess what? They're still on the books. And they're costing the people of Oklahoma millions of dollars each and every year, hundreds of millions of dollars each and every year. And so this year, we're going to be very diligent about setting in place and establishing an objective criteria by which to judge any and all tax credits to make sure that they represent a net benefit and not a net loss to the taxpayer. Ronald Reagan was about the taxpayer. And here in Oklahoma, we want to keep the taxpayer first and foremost in each and every decision that we make. And I'm happy to say that this day, I renew my commitment to keep that taxpayer front and center as we go throughout this legislative uh, session. And so I want to say thank you all for being here today. Thank you for helping us honor a true American hero, our former president, Ronald Reagan.